When composing a new message in Outlook, you can select a follow-up flag that will generate a to-do item for you to follow up on a task at a specific date and time. I'm going to click the New Email button. This allows me to compose a new message. And right up here is my follow-up flag. I can click on top of that and I can choose whether I want to follow up with the message that I'm composing today, tomorrow, this week, next week, no date or custom. So those are the different options available. If I were to compose a message to somebody, I create this flag. When I click send, the item will go into my to-do list, which is in the tasks area of Outlook and it will remind me to follow up with whatever specific date and time that I choose. This flag will not show up on your recipient's email. If you want to compose a message that will show a follow-up flag for your recipient, you can compose a new message and click the follow-up drop-down menu and then choose custom. So I'm going to go ahead and click new email and over here on the follow-up flag, I'm going to click the drop-down and I'm going to choose custom. And in this section, you can see that I can choose flag for me or flag for recipient. So I can have one or the other or both. I'm going to choose flag for recipient, follow up, and then I'm going to set a reminder. So when the recipient receives this message, there will be a flag in the message that they receive, but they still need to add that to their to-do items. If they forget to add it to their to-do items, setting a reminder will just um, send a reminder as well. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK to that. And you can see that it says recipients receive follow-up on this date and time. And I'm going to go ahead and address the email. And then I'm going to click send. And so this email message is being sent and I'm just going to scroll up to my other email address up here. And here is the message and you can see that it says right here that it was from the student one account. And then if you move over to this section, you'll see the flag and it says flag as to do item. And then it says right click for all options. I'm going to go ahead and just click flag the to do item. And what happens is that puts this in the to do items list, which is in this area. This is your task list right here. And as you can see, it has listed it right there. When you use Outlook in the Microsoft Exchange environment, you have a lot of flags that are available to you. So we're going to go back into New Email. We're going to go into Follow Up and we're going to choose the Custom Flag. And in the Custom dialog box, you'll see the Flag 2 section. And in here, notice that you have a lot of different flags that are available to you that weren't available up here on this initial drop-down menu. So you can make sure to list that if it's a follow-up call that you need to make, you can make that type of flag, a do not forward for your information, no response necessary. So you can see all of the different flags that are available to you and that does make it really helpful to customize your flags. In Outlook, you can apply a follow-up tag to messages you receive. For example, this message does not have a flag on it, but there is a directive, please complete this module by April 13th. So if I want to have a follow-up flag, I can simply choose follow-up, custom, follow-up by April 13th. I could set a reminder for a specific time that day and then say OK. Now this has been added to my to-do list and I will receive a reminder. In Outlook, you can view your to-do list by going to your Tasks button. And here are the to-do items listed here with the flags over to the right. You'll notice as the due date approaches, the flag will become a darker red 
to indicate that the due date is approaching. You can also view your flagged items in the to-do list in your calendar. So if you follow my mouse over here, I'm going to click on the calendar button and you could see my to-do bar on this side. You can turn your to-do bar on by going to view, choosing to-do bar, and making sure that your calendar and your tasks are showing. And I'm going to go back to the tasks. You can mark your tasks complete a few different ways. You can either click directly on the button and choose Mark Complete. You can right click on it and choose Mark Complete. Or you can select it and you can choose Mark Complete here as well. So those are just a few different techniques for marking your to-do list as complete.